Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets, so end of day analysis for Tuesday, the 10th of May 2016, going into Wednesday's trading, the 11th of May 2016. As always, please do visit tradesignal.com uh, and download uh, the uh, latest app via the Google Play and the Apple App Store uh, to gain uh, signals and market updates from leading providers. Okay, in terms of the uh, the actual European markets uh, close yesterday, uh, we um, certainly had the FTSE up and Europe generally up following the US Amer uh, US session. Uh, and uh, now, given the fact that um, the uh, the Chinese market is still lagging to a large extent, okay, certainly so it's still lagging, but we had the Nikkei obviously higher. Now, in terms of economic data to to, to towards the to, towards the close on uh, Tuesday, it was mainly due to the uh, US jobs data really in the wholesale inventory so we had um, uh, jolts data out of the u.s certainly stronger than expected u.s wholesale inventories as well uh, on the back end obviously you had chinese inflation data out overnight uh, and the main obviously uh, catalyst for the dollar to certainly move higher was the stronger jobs data jolts openings and a wholesale trade as well to a large extent okay so that really was a theme and obviously with the usd jpy above 109 Certainly, the bias was uh, uh, certainly sent higher. Now, in terms of European markets going into tomorrow, uh, the Wednesday, you have uh, UK data, manufacturing production, industrial production in the morning, and I think that really sums it up. Into also, you have the uh, NIESR GDP estimate. Uh, crude oil stocks change. That's going to be quite crucial, and that really is the theme uh, in the uh, European session. Okay, so let's bring up the technical picture going into uh, Wednesday's trading session. So let's just quickly give you a, a, a technical insight. Okay, so in terms of the European uh, Euro stocks uh, itself, given the fact that we had weaker German data out yesterday, uh, or this morning, should I say, um, now German industrial production certainly came in weaker, and the export and the import side of the equation certainly wasn't, uh, well, export was certainly stronger, but the import side of the equation certainly weaker, and that doesn't bode well for the rest of Europe, okay? Now, the German DAX uh, itself will, will certainly come up soon. But the uh, Euro stocks, as you can see here, potential topping tail. So a three bar rally is over now from a 2900 level to 2980 or 3000. Okay. And looking for a potential reversal now. A 60 minute chart itself at the moment really is languishing. And uh, the uh, the eye, the eye, or the, uh, the zone that I'm looking at now is potentially gap fill below around the 2955 level. So watch out for that potential gap fill below. For the euro stocks okay german dax now let's just look at the german dax let's bring up the, the daily chart first of all again doji candle as you can see we've had a thrust higher from gap fill okay we are into this key zone or key zone of resistance here which is currently uh, calculated at uh, around the uh, 10 10100 level okay given the fact that we had weaker data yesterday also you have this diagonal trend line so um, certainly observe that and keep a keen eye on that potential trend line that's certainly held okay and you have two unfilled gaps below now if i go to the 10 minute chart of the german dax you can see that there are two unfilled gaps so those two gaps are going to be targeted uh, also you have a mini hns formation as well so your left shoulder is here your head obviously there and then you have this right shoulder and down we go so watch out for that as well so that certainly is quite important from my understanding and you are looking at a mini HNS formation and on the back of the Euro USD as well. The Euro USD certainly is holding support, okay, and that certainly is a zone to watch, okay. Now, unfilled gap below here is at 9980, and then you have an unfilled gap right below at 9870. So, those two zones certainly come into play for the German DAX. So, we'll certainly watch out below given the fact that we had weak economic data, okay. Looking at the actual CAC now. The CAC itself, Doji Candle, certainly remains weak from my perspective. Okay, certainly hasn't thrusted as high, anywhere near as high as the rest of the European indices. And as you can see here, you've got higher, high, higher lows. And we did, we failed to make a high, high yesterday. We failed to even test the higher, high. So that certainly isn't a good sign. So going to a 10 minute chart, you can clearly see that there's a HNS formation. Uh, certainly is clear now, so along with the German DAX as well, to a large extent. Your left shoulder here, your head. And then obviously your right shoulder, and then down we go. Okay, so looking for a potential thrust to remove lower on the French CAC going into tomorrow. Okay, right. Uh, in terms of the uh, FTSE 100, uh, we have a inverted head and shoulders formation, but that was heavily reliant upon the price of oil. And given the fact that the oil sands in uh, in, the, in Canada certainly are back up online, 
uh, in terms of other news flow there isn't really any major uh, that was supporting uh, the price of oil and again oil stocks change will certainly be important but the main theme certainly remains weak Chinese uh, data okay and that certainly is triggering the uh, the actual uh, weakness in commodities to a large extent back to 44 okay so again there is a inverted head and shoulders formation but having said that the daily chart obviously is into that 200 ma and certainly remains weak we had a, we've had a bottom topping tail on the larger time scale and then <coughs> the following day we've, we've obviously traded inside bar we're consolidating here and then obviously looking for a potential bear flag scenario to play out that certainly seems to be overriding uh, technical pattern at present. Ten minute chart of the uh, the FTSE itself. Let's just have a look here, see exactly where we stand. Yes, we did have an unfilled gap at the uh, six one ninety level. We failed to even come anywhere close to that. Okay, yeah, and now we certainly seem to be having a potential bear flag scenario here and looking for the test of uh, the uh, lower zone, lower zone, which is currently uh, uh, in this area here. And you have this area here. So these are the two zones that you'll be looking for, okay? And looking for 6110 and looking for 6125 on the FTSE 100 early doors. After that, obviously you, you are uh, open to the possibility of a inverted head and shoulders play formation playing out, but it needs a catalyst. And at this current juncture, there is none, okay? We have had a move in the Aussie and the Kiwi overnight, but that hasn't been substantial. We certainly need the price of oil to start to move higher, or we need the old or, or we need the dollar to certainly get crushed. In order to support the the potential move given the fact that the european stocks certainly have a bearish pattern and given the fact that we had weak german data yesterday or today should i say then that certainly isn't well, doesn't bode well going into the uh, wednesday session morning uh, the FTSE will certainly play an important part because you have uh, economic data in terms of uh, for the FTSE 100 itself uh, that certainly needs to be focused upon you have industrial production manufacturing given the fact that the data has been weak as of late uh, and also GDP estimates as well. That's going to be crucial uh, and it will dictate sentiment in Europe. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Uh, as always, uh, you can um, certainly uh, take advantage of the uh, 20 up to 25% bonus offer for new trading accounts and certainly uh, uh, make a, uh, a handsome start to your trading career. Okay, goodbye now.